painted romantic subjects drawn from classical, biblical, literary, and contemporary sources, Turner specialized in topographical views. This work, commissioned by the third Earl of Darlington, is one of Turner's most successful house portraits. It is also one of the first works in which he fully exploits the dramatic potential of the sky. The Earl, an avid sportsman who reportedly hunted six days a week, may have influenced Turner's rendering of the scene. Turner's art was radically different, but keep in mind that his surroundings also radically changed in the span of a couple of years. The Industrial Revolution was at its peak while Turner was evolving as an artist and, as many innovators did, he saw an opportunity. In the face of rapidly developing technology, the rise of manufacture in the British landscape, and the shift in the very way we organized as a society, Turner started painting this new reality. Joseph Mallard William Turner was born to humble beginnings in London in 1775. His father was a barber and wig maker, which must have been a roaring trade at the time, but the Turners were by no means an affluent family. Coming from a lower rung of the socio-economic ladder in class-obsessed 18th century England would have put some limits on what the young Turner could do with his life, if not for the fact that from an early age he displayed a keen ability to draw.